guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm showing you how to unblock your Nouveau Drops and bring some of them back to life. So I tried to find a video to show me how to unclog them and I could not find one video to help me. So I thought I'd just go with it and give it a try. So I tried it on this one and it definitely worked. So this was actually, you know, I bought all these from Facebook, which is um obviously the marketplace and... You know, I've just put the bottles into a container with lukewarm water, not boiling water. And I've just left them in there for a little bit of time. Just so the liquid, you know, softens a little bit. So, I'm just going to take my lid off. And as you can see, no matter the amount of pressure I put into this bottle, nothing is coming out of it. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to pull the top and I'm pulling it towards me, that's the easiest way I found to get them out. And as you can see, it is blocked a lot. So I'm taking some tweezers and I'm just going to clean the the glitter out of here. And then just using some tissue so I could throw this away. Um, spoiler, I did manage to fix the majority of them. There are only two that I couldn't fix. Um, so I am looking into either replacing them or just replacing the lids. Um, when I say the lid, I mean like the little plastic cap. But as you can see, my thing does not reach all the way in here. And it's blocked at the top. So I'm just going to take a pin, which is actually from my glue at the moment. Um, and I'm just going to push that through and it unblocks so much easier. Um, but yeah, so I need to see if I can buy just the replacement tips. Um, and if I can, you know, that's going to be great. So I've just asked a couple of people on a Facebook group to see if anybody's aware of how to do so um but yeah um like i said i was trying to find a video that helped me and i could not find one video which was really weird so i thought you know i'm gonna come on here you know maybe there's a reason people haven't made a video because most people wouldn't probably know how to fix this but i didn't and i didn't want to do something that would ruin it so as you can see a lot of water just come out but i squeeze again and it's back to life so it definitely does work. I definitely recommend trying it before you go out and replace it. Um, this is the one that I was struggling with the most. So this is one of the ones that I could not salvage. Um, it's just too far gone, I think. Um, I think it's because it's got more air than product in the bottle now. And, you know, if I want to use this, I'm going to have to, you know well, store it upside down, maybe that'll help. So I might do that. I might just store it facing downwards and see if all the, the product drips to the bottom so I can just squeeze it out easier. So that might be an idea. Also, temperature where you're storing these definitely matters. So mine are being stored, obviously, in an attic space and it can get really cold in here and it can get really warm in here. So it's never really the same temperature all year round. So, obviously, certain people have thermostats and stuff where they can change the temperature of their house. In the UK, we do not have that. <laughs> we literally, either we have radiators or fires on, and in summer, we don't. We have windows open, so it's never the same temperature. Um, but yeah, so this one that I could not fix is called Ruby Slippers. And the other one that I couldn't fix is Golden Sunset. But I got these off Facebook, like I said, and they have been used quite a bit. She did tell me that, you know, some of them are hardly used and some were quite used. So for the price, I'm not going to complain. I think I paid like £12 for like maybe nine of these, you know, so I'm not complaining. Like it was probably cheaper to buy it that way, but it, in the long run, it probably would have been cheaper just to buy them brand new. Um, But you know, again, this is the other one that I couldn't fix. So when I take the lid off, you'll see in a second, it is literally set to the point where it's changing colour. I could not get the lid off. Look at that. That's just me struggling. I was like, oh my god. But there you go. So the lid is literally just like set. If I can get my camera to focus for you. There you go. You see on the red edge, it's got like this white. Um, Basically, that is set hard. So I don't know what caused that. I don't know anything about it. So, you know, I think this is the one where I need to get replacement tip if I can even buy them. Um, but yeah. So out of the ones that I did, you know, 
to only lose two of them at the moment. I think that's really great for me because normally, you know, I lose quite a lot. Um, I wasn't a big fan of new ball drops, I have to admit. You know, I just didn't really see a full necessity that I needed them for. But my most used one is probably simply white. And I just think that goes with anything. It's great for Christmas, for snow. You know, it's great for coffee stamps and stuff like that. So there is quite a lot of uses for simply white. And I really need to get a, a basic black one. But I just haven't got around to doing it. And the reason for that being is because I have a lot of... Um, stickles um and then i also have a lot of dovecraft pearl effects um and again the pearl effects are more accessible for me i can just go and get them from my local pound shop um whereas new vault drops there's only one place that i can get them from in the uk in a store and that's actually the range but every time i've been into my range they've hardly got anything in so <laughs> it's kind of just basically online all the time so yeah but like i said i did manage to get quite a lot of them fixed so i'll tell you the names of the ones that i got fixed um so the first one i have it next to me is sherbert shimmer which is like a pink i then have a blue one which is blue lagoon i managed to fix that one i then have my purple one which i'm doing right now and that is in Purple Rain. And then I have a silver, which is Silver Moon Dust. And then I have like a white one with like a green shimmer through it, and which is White Blizzard. So I managed to fix those. I thought there was quite more than that, but obviously not. Um, but, you know, it's just taking that little bit of a chance, really. Um, but I hope this video is helpful for some of the people that, you know, don't necessarily know much about nouveau drops and you know i think i'm just throwing them away i definitely recommend trying this out first um also i'm thinking of doing some videos for you guys on my editing software um for basically editing videos um i am also thinking of doing one for how i edit my photos and then one which i've only just started to do so at the very beginning of this you would have seen the nouveau um display with um, my text rolled out over the top. Now I used another um, app for that, so I might do a video on that. Um, but yeah, so far that's the first time I've used it for my videos, because I didn't even really think about it. I've done it through my Instagram posts, but that's pretty much it. So, <laughs> you know, it's a little bit different. But yeah, let me know down in the comments what your favorite um, nouveau color is. And do you prefer a Nouveau Crystal Drops or a Nouveau Glitter Drops? So, most of these actually I just realised are Glitter Drops. Um, I do have the Crystal Drops, um, which obviously are better. I am waiting for one to be delivered to me and it's really annoying me because it was supposed to be delivered a couple of weeks ago and it still hasn't arrived. Um, so I am chasing that one up um, and it's the Dew Drop Morning one, I think. Um, so it's like a dewy finish one. So I have a card in mind that I want to make, but I can't make it yet because I want that for an added texture to that card, you know, so I'm pretty much waiting on that. Um, but yeah, so this was actually a great video just to, you know, have something going out because at the moment I just have no video content. So <laughs> that's something I need to do. Um, but yeah, as you can see, they're all coming out. So that one I didn't need to unclog because it just was setting in the bottom. But this is the one that is rock solid and it just won't come out. So I need to buy replacement tips for that. But I hope you guys find this video helpful. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. And make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell. It'll update you every time I post a video. And also head over to my Instagram. Follow me over there. And I do now have Pinterest as well. So please go and check that out. It would mean the world to me. Otherwise guys, I will see you in my next video. Stay safe and happy crafting.